Hi guys, this is the second video I'm doing on the solid state driver, just did an unboxing video, so now I'm going to do an installation video. I'm going to be installing it into my MacBook Pro, which is the 13 inch mid 2010 model. So I've just got to unplug it, close it down and flip it over. Hope you can see this alright. So there are four, eight, nine, ten screws all the way around that need removing. You just need a crosshead screwdriver, Phillips. Just remember where where each of the different screws go, because some are longer than others. So you need to make sure you get them in the right place. I'll probably just speed this bit up so you don't have to watch this. Because it'll probably take quite a while. Once you've got all the screws out, you should be able to just pop it off, just lift it from the vent at the back, and it should spring up. And there we go. I think I need to give it a bit of a clean in there, but anyway. Here's the original hard drive that I've got in here already. Uh, it's not the original one, I did upgrade it from 250 to 500 gigs, and now I'm going to replace that with the OCZ 60 gig SSD. So there are two screws right here, and they these just hold in a little bracket, which secures the hard drive in. Make sure you don't lose these screws. Okay. Once you got the screws out, this little bracket with the orange little bits on comes out. Now you should have a tab on the side of your hard drive if you're doing the same as me. You pull that out and then just the SATA connection just pulls out the side. Make sure you don't damage the ribbon cable. Then that's free. You know what? You want to make sure that you remove this tab from the side. It just sticks on. And then there's these pegs on the side of the drive that go all the way around. I believe they're not your average screw. I'm not sure what they are, they might be Allen keys, I'm not sure. Let's have a go with this one. Okay, so I've just got a Torx 5 sized screwdriver and that seems to do the job. I don't think it actually is Torx, but I know it could be. Anyway, you need to take these four pegs out of the side. Okay, so there we go. That's now been removed, and I'm going to put that to one side. And now I get the new drive, and just as you can see, there's holes all the way around the where the pegs go in. So just screw those into there. Okay, there we go. They're tightened up, and now. You can see there's the SATA connection, and you just slide this connector onto the end. Just push it on. There we go, that's done. Now line the pegs up, they push into this side, and then rest on the orange brackets on that side, and then you put the little bracket over the top. Screw that down. Okay, the SSD is now installed. Completely, it should now work. I am going to be removing this uh, optical drive, and I've bought a caddy which replaces this drive, so then I can put my this hard drive in this 500 gig into here. Oh no, actually, do you know what I've forgotten? I forgot to stick that tab on, so I might be able to just push it down the side. There we go. It's not necessary anyway. It's just to help you getting the get the drive out. Okay, I think that's stuck on. Okay, so now I'm just going to give this a clean because it looks like there's a bit of glue here. So. Okay, I cleaned some glue and stuff off the batch. I don't know what that was. Uh, but it's all gone now. And uh, you just want to replace the back cover onto the Mac. Just replace all the screws that you took out. Make sure you get the three long ones in the top right. And I've got the vent facing away from me. And then they, they just screw in. 
and then you've got the small, smaller screws for the rest of them. Okay, so now I've got all the screws screwed back in, and the uh, upgrade is done. If I flip it over, I, it will be all done now. I'm going to install Lion from a bootable DVD that I made, because you usually have to install Snow Leopard first and then download it from the Mac App Store. But I downloaded it from the Mac App Store and then I made a bootable DVD from it. I'll do another video on that if anyone's interested. Uh, okay, so I'll finish this video here and you can watch the next video I do if you want to see me installing Lion on it. Okay, thanks.